welcome to Photorix. Um, this video, I'm going to do another um, landscape uh, picture edit of a photo I took yesterday. Um, I went down to the uh, the local river and I took this photograph. Um, this is the original edit I did of it yesterday. Um, but all I'm going to do in this video is reset it and uh, try again to see what else I can come up with. So we'll reset this, and this is how it came out of the camera, as you can see, quite different. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, edit this now. So the first thing I can see straight away is that the horizon's not quite straight. Um, we've got quite a lot of vignetting up here from the polarizer I had on. So first things first, I'm going to sort that out with lens profile correction. That's got rid of the vignette already. And um I'm just trying to sort the distortion out. Get that horizon as straight as we can. A little better. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. I'm gonna try and make it different from the last edit I did, so I might even try this one in black and white. Let's see. Clarity, some contrast. Blacks. A recovery to bring the sky. And maybe a bit of fill light. I don't want this area too light. I just want that to be quite gritty looking. I'm just playing around with the sliders here to see what we get. Maybe I don't want it in black and white, it's not working. Mm, it's a bit better. I think I've always um, using these sliders, if you take it too far, you get a lot of noise. Come through. No, and I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to put that back and try again. Uh, let's go to my history. Go back to there. Okay, so try it again in colour. Um, I still want this foreground to really stand out. So. Try some vibrance, some clarity, some contrast, a bit of black. That's gone really blue, so I want to take the blues down and take the white balance. That's a bit better. This was um, really sticky mud, so this needs to be brown as it is, but the sky is also quite blue, but I don't want this water to be too blue. I think we, um, you know what I might try and do, um, in some of the other videos we've done graduated filters to bring the exposure on the sky down, what I might do is try one going the other way. 
specifically bring exposure down on this foreground. Maybe a bit too much. Well, that's not too bad, I think. There. So, the only thing that bugged me is this. Uh, this bit back here is in silhouette. I did on the other version. I did. I lighted all this up. It took ages trying to um, mask off all these trees. I don't know if I'm gonna bother. Let's try another grad. Bring it down to meet the other one. Hopefully. I want to try to bring some of this, uh, bring some of the brightness back with that, without having to use the adjustment brush. But at the same time, I want the sky to be nice and blue. Brought the um, background out quite nicely, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. As you can see, that I've actually used two uh, graduated filters: one at the bottom for this foreground up to the edge of the river, um, to actually darken a bit, and then another one up here for the sky to lighten the sky up. A bit unusual. You don't usually do it that way around, but uh, hey, whatever works. Okay, the one thing I do want to try and do now is get some of this blue in the sky back. So I'm going to use the saturation uh, adjuster. That's pretty good. Don't want too much. Ah, uh, there we go. Deep blue skies. Pull the luminance back. That's more like it. Just looking at the full image on my uh, second monitor here. Um, I've got two monitors. Uh, the one that you're seeing now is a HP uh, LP2475W, which is a, a wide gamut monitor. And the other one I've got is a HP ZR24W, which isn't a wide gamut monitor, so I actually get two different views. Um, uh, the wide gamut monitor is actually better for editing because you get much more uh, realistic colours. But of course a lot of people don't have wide gamut monitors. So with my other monitor I can see what everyone else is going to see. And with my wide gamut one I can see some of a, a more realistic view. So when I when I edit stuff I always try and get it so it looks good on both. Um, if I edited just for this monitor it wouldn't look as good on a standard monitor, so what I always do is check both monitors. I've got um, down here, you can see it says 2, I've got this image locked full screen to the second monitor and it auto updates. As soon as I make a change here, it auto updates the main screen on the other side here that you can't see. So this is a really good way to get my images to look good for everybody. Um, on this monitor for example, this blue here is a lot darker on this monitor than it is on the other one even though they're both calibrated um, exactly the same purely because this one just uh, shows a bigger range of colours so it's looking pretty good on both, I'm quite happy um, we're going to need a little bit of sharpening and we're going to need a little bit of noise reduction even though it's shot at ISO 
200 because I've bought quite a lot of exposure back. It's going to be it's going to be a bit noisy. It's not too bad actually. This mud down here is really sharp. I really like this. And this is the uh, 16 to 35 millimeter lens again. I've been really happy with it. Look how sharp it is down in the corners. Even at 16 millimeters. I keep meaning to do a, a video demonstrating the sharpness in the corners. I haven't got around to it yet. So I'll do that shortly. And just gonna check the masking on the sharpness. Not about there, I think. And I'm just going to check for dust spots. I'm waiting really to clean my sensor again. It's looking pretty good. The only thing with this image is, I, even though I shot at f22, I think I probably didn't focus quite far enough into the scene. I think I focused around about here. I should have come more down here to get the background a bit more focused, but uh, I think it's alright as it is. It's not the main focal point of the image is this mud, so um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a snapshot of this called Edit. And I'll compare that to the one, the original one that I did. So this is the edit one that I've just done. This is the original edit. I didn't even see that change. And there we go. Okay, this is the original edit. That's the new edit. I actually prefer the original edit, I think. On the original edit, I did a lot of lightning in this bit, and I lightened all this grass up, and I dodged and burnt the uh, mud down here. It's the original. I much prefer the original, I think, but I'm quite happy with this edit as well. Sorry, my light room is going really slow at the moment. Um, maybe a touch more contrast. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm I'm pretty happy with that, I think. I um, don't really know what else I can do. Maybe just, just have a play around with these. Let's boost the saturation on this. Mud a bit. Not too much. Yeah, I think that day is um, it's a lot better from how it came out of the camera. So that's the edit I've just done, and that's how it came out the camera. Obviously, a massive difference. That's really flat. The white balance is off. You've got all this vignetting. Much better. Thanks very much.